for the Bills Championship Final. Winner will go to Orlando. And start off with an easy kick to the 34. And so Pony Montana will be in all red. Point spread will be the home team in blue. I like this. I, I like that the, we've kept the color rush for the third game all the way through. Color rush is balling. That red jersey is sick. It shouldn't go anywhere. I love it. Real quick, before we get into the weeds of this game, shout outs again. Pony Montana, wife Rena, at home watching, and also his biggest supporter in his Twitch stream that he says is very important that I need to shout out is Cam Farrell. Without Cam Farrell, yeah, who helps him team. donate to his Twitch stream, helps him get all these mud players, he wouldn't be here. And then you go to points where he has his brothers back home at watching, his mom and dad are at home watching, and his roommate Schwartz is here in attendance watching, cheering him on. We love seeing the support system these players have. Shout out to you guys. Let's get this championship game rolling. Well, will Pony Montana continue to grow his name or Will he have a new one on the block and point spread? Just 20 minutes to decide who's going to represent the Buffalo Bills. Big third and nine already. And you heard point spread when he talked to Lawrence that he's been practicing against this bunch. You see, if you're climbing the ladders, you're going to get plenty of reps against bunch. Let's see if that practice paid off. Cunningham will roll out. Come on, man. And he'll carry Jadavion Clowney. Uh oh. 41, and here's a fourth and two, and we got to hurry up. This is a situation early on, Scott. Not a fan of the hurry up on fourth down. So now the dragon and another crossing route. Forces okay. it in there, and JJ oh. Nelson drops it. And a big oh, early yeah, stop for point oh, spread. Oh, I hate the call. Oh, that was bad, and Pony says it as Achilles Hill is making bad reads. It seemed like he forced that one into coverage. I would have been looking for the drag or one of the underneath crossing routes, maybe look to scramble for the two yards. Now he's got himself in a situation. Hometown hero points right in control. So the first drive here in the finals for point spread at the 41 yard line. They'll go to Jamal Charles. And he'll go nowhere. One thing you'll notice is these players will manually bring up their safeties into the box um, sometimes. And it's a good tactic. The one thing I don't like about it is it gives it away sometimes if they're, if they're in a cover two or not. See how he moved that safety right there in this box? With him being that far down, you know it's not a cover two look because if it was two, he would need to be there. So it's a great way to tell if someone's in cover three or two. Coming off the edge is Telvin Smith. That brings up a third and 18 from the 50. Right there on the Bills logo. And yeah, see how the safeties are up top right now? Now that could be a two look. Empty look. We'll take off with Vic. Oh! Vic's got a block from Charles. Oh! And Michael Vick. Oh! Oh! Getting sticky with it down to the 27. I'm sorry. I hate, da -da 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 -da. I hate when I interrupt your calls, but sometimes oh, the stick work, so I can't I help it, Coltrane. Call. That little hezzy move he put on him with Vic to get the first down when it was looking grim. I'm okay when you Romo me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Michael Vic just going absolutely oh. crazy. Takes a big hit from Kraus. Lucky to hold on at the 10. This Mike Vick draw. Talk about a meta changer, huh? I like when you see players bring something new to the table. He's not running gun bunch the way people normally do. Point spread has his own little flavor to the offense. Looks good right now. Sends him out again, and he'll take off again with Vick, who's going to make it to the end zone. Although it's as slow as I've ever seen Vick run, it still counts for six. And that's a good disguised draw. He comes out in the bunch. And then he audibles to that drop, but all it does is send the running back in motion. It looks like he's in motion, but he's really audibling to a new formation. Yeah, he's really going a, five wide. He's really going five wide, and that's a great disguise right there. And I, I love that. I love the game plan right now by point spread. So seven-point lead for point spread. We'll have a fair catch, but what about that run? That's it. From Michael oh, Vick. Wow. It's been, a, been the story. Look at this right there. And there's that five wide. And look at these blocks right up the middle. Good stick work. And Vick just fights through the tackle in for a touchdown. All the momentum in point spreads favor. How are you going to respond, Tony? He obviously wants to play rough. we got a lot of new folks watching us over on the, the Bills website. 
Explain stick work to the folks at home. When we're talking about stick work, it's the control that the player has over their virtual character. So you know you have that left stick on a controller and you got to move them around. When you got good stick work, that means you moved them around perfectly. When you got bad stick work, that means you ran into somebody. You, you know, you kind of didn't control your guy as good as you should have. The best players in the world have phenomenal stick work. Uh, it's, it's, the, yeah. it's the equivalent of athleticism right. for a pro athlete. A, a gamer's stick work is his athleticism. Is the best way I can compare it. Well, he's been big with Michael Vick. Now we can see what Randall Cunningham can do. Two. And he'll throw it away. Here comes another fourth down. Uh, big shout-out to those watching on the Bills website, by the way. Facebook, YouTube, and, of course, those hungry guys out on Twitch get in those Twitch drops. <laughs> no, seriously, we, you got to shout out everybody. The support from the community to watch these events. We wouldn't be here without all of you. Sure. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing that support. And I hope you enjoy this championship game because it's going to be a good one. Meanwhile, huge situation for Pony Montana. Yeah, fourth and five for the 37. R.A. trailing by a touchdown. This is big. The second possession of the game. Point spread has been big for him. He likes to get up and then... He's had these linebackers just yeah. coming through that A-gap. It's time he'll to pick it up, and Randall ah. Cunningham will get out of the pocket. Will pick up the first down out of the 46-yard line. Oh, I don't know stop. what point spread's doing, but you don't usually see the linebacker shooting through the A-gap anymore on those blitzes, but he's had more, more than a couple occasions where he's had Shazier or Telvin just running right up that middle, causing havoc on the quarterback. I play online, man. I've, <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen that several times out of that Tampa 2 look. It can be absolutely filthy when it comes free. First and 10. Cunningham, play action. Pancakes. Randall looking downfield. Oh, the throw. Come on, man. Reception. Oh, my God. He almost threw the hell out that ball, bro. And that's Telvin Smith. With an interception and a oh sack God, already. That's, so, that's such a bad Wow, throw. that was a good work by point spread. He yeah. sent the spy yeah. crash. So, so you see, so watch, you're going to see this defender so over here in flat zone. He's going to start coming after him. You do that by clicking in the right stick. And then great stick work right there to get back and bail on the playmaker. Phenomenal defense by point spread. And it was that click that oh. brought the guy up that forced some pressure on Cunningham who underthrew yeah. it, much to the chagrin of Pony Montana. Yeah, but when you're rolling out, you're under pressure outside of the pocket, uh, that's the type of thing that can happen. Point spread yet to throw the football. And th th sending that zone is so important. If you're at home and you're playing, and someone scrambles with their quarterback on you all over the place. What you need to do is once they get out of the pocket, you click in that right stick. And what that's going to do is send the closest defender to him in pursuit of the quarterback, and he's going to go after him. And that's exactly what Point Spread did right there. Great use of the end game mechanics by Point Spread. So a third and six at the 41 after the interception by Telvin Smith. There is Ingram. By the way, Telvin Smith, play a little Madden with him, came on the NFL Network. He's a Has incredible shoe game. Tough for a rookie. You know about shoe games, too. Your feet heat is <laughs> always on point. Bread ah. 11s today. Nothing, nothing fancy, but so now always you, good. Now you're just showing off. <laughs> At midfield, first and 10, read option. This time it picks up two. Heard you got a big body for that little Boy, Michael Vick, 52 yards already on four carries. Yeah, that Vick, this Vick draw offense, wow, huh? Have you played against that online yet? I haven't, I haven't seen much of that. I haven't seen much of that since. Much of that? Really right? Madden 16 with, with ultimate legend Vick. Point spread will receive the ball to start the second half as the first quarter is starting to wind down. Michael Vick again. Wide open. Sets his feet, hits Ingram at the 43. That'll be the last play of the quarter. He'll have a big third and three as we start quarter number two. Point spread's done a great job, Scott, of coming out and scoring touchdowns on his first possession and getting stops on his opponent's first possession. And he's been in control of both games so far due to that. It's a great way to get out ahead, get out ahead, get out ahead. 
Third and three to start the quarter. Tony needs a stop, and he does. Big hit. Big hit, Big hit on Michael Fick. And, and you expect to see more Vic without having to deal with injuries. Vic is just that much more dangerous because he, he just absorbed that. Now he's in hurry-up offense. Yeah, fourth and four, empty backfield from the 44. Momentum play for Pony. You can get all kinds of momentum back here, Pony. Come on. Vic looking. No one open, oh. and he gets sacked back at the 46. It's Ryan Shazier. Good defense. Shazier getting a little, getting some block shed on here in the finals. Getting it going. That was huge for Pony Montana. He could have had himself in a huge hole if point spread turned that turnover into points. Now he gets a fresh start here, but he needs to get it going on offense. That's, you know, that's the key to Vic. If you can get pressure up the middle, then he can't get out of the pocket on the left side on you. Big fourth down play. Loses two here on this first down, second and 12. I think the key on that last defensive possession was Pony was finally able to contain those draw plays. You saw a couple of draws, a couple of good hits on Vic, and that could be trouble for point spread because he's been making a living on that what? offense. Cunningham threw it into coverage, nearly picked off, and Shazier doing it on both sides, picks up the first down. If Look I at this again, RG. Woo! Yeah. For a game of inches. Ryan Shazier. The verse is so versatile. He's playing linebacker and tight end. Enjoy it while you can. I don't expect <laughs> that to be a part of the battle for long. Cunningham. Mm. RG putting everybody on notice. Oh, and goodness. there is Brendan Cooks. Oh! And we got a tie ball game here in the finals in Buffalo. And look at Pony. Let's go, man. He's jamming out. Goes with a little R&B song and then a let's go. And he's right back in the ball game. And the Buffalo Bills championship is all of a sudden lit, as the kids like to say. A little shrug right there by Pony. It's a tie game. Kicks it deep. We haven't seen a lot of that today, and that's one of the reasons why. You never know when someone like Tyreek Hill is going to get loose. Take a look at it again, RG. And watch this. He's going to press the rack catch. You see it? Rack right there. That means he's going to catch it in stride, and that's what allowed him to catch it and stay on his horse and run it in for six. Good use of the catch mechanics right there by Pony. And Brandon Cooks, that's the type of guy you want to rack with. He's got some speed behind him to make it happen on the ground after the catch. So seven to seven. <sighs> Point spread gets the ball to start the second half. So a key drive with 329 left here in the first half of the finals. Oh, Winner oh, goes baby. to Orlando on, to represent the Buffalo Bills You're have to pass. at the Pro Bowl. You're gonna have to pass to that, Anyone's that QB curious ball about play, this man. offense point spreads running You're too, have to pass. he's running his hometown Buffalo Bills offensive playbook. So he is in the Bills offense. Pony in that New England defense right now. But I was wondering, I'm like, hey, where are all those draw plays at? Those are nice. They're in the Bills offensive playbook, if you're wondering. There's Tyrod Taylor. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, that was risky. Oh, no! Yeah, that's oh, right. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. After Michael Oh, Hill. no. Oh, Both no. went to Virginia Tech. I got one. You got one. We're good now. You can't go to Virginia Tech one, and not got one. We good now. mimic your game after Michael Vick if you're a running quarterback. I got to go to San Francisco, watch some games with Coach Madden. One of the coolest experiences of my life, but it was we watched the game where they pulled Tyrod Taylor out. <laughs> oh, man. The five interceptions of one half. I guess they don't want to talk about that here in Buffalo. I just sh shouldn't bring that one up. Third and 11. No, no, no. I told you, you're going to have to pass They got on the me, Patriots man. tomorrow. Oh, po the Pony's getting fired up, Scott. Oh, here comes a big fourth and 16. That's tough being a coach out there nowadays. You're trying to win and at all costs. And that was a big stop for a pony, and Keep he saw it. He said, no, no, bounce. no, you're not going to run the ball on me. And that's and there is Hill. Come on, man. Bringing the punt to the 43. Come pony on, Montana man. starting to feel a little confidence here. Yeah, and he's <sighs> making good adjustments and committing his defense to stopping that run. That's obviously what Point Spread wants to do. He told us before the tournament started that he's a run-heavy type player. There's, a, there's you uh, and, the, uh, and the big fella. There I am with the Grizzly right there, dude. One of the coolest 
moments of my life right there. What an opportunity. Shout out to EA Sports and the Madden game. It's changed my life and given me opportunities it. like that. I couldn't be more thankful. That's the reason we didn't see you at the Patriots Club Series because you're was, hanging out with a legend. That was the only thing that could stop me from going there. And, you know, shout out to Rex and the rest of the EA team for getting me on that trip. Meant the world to me. And uh, to get insight from Madden both on competitive Madden commentary football is once in a lifetime experience and hey he likes this stuff he likes where competitive Madden yeah. is going he's into it it's a great tool to teach people about football let people stay safe when they play the game and give more people an outlet to compete and coach is all about that stuff and he's truly a legend it was being in the presence of a true guru but let me get back to this game if you keep John Madden it up, I'll keep Pat Summer on the best I can, my friend. Well, let's, uh, hopefully we get to do this for years to come, huh? 17 seconds before the two-minute warning. Pitching it outside and gets stuffed. Now, did you get a chemistry boost? You were with Coach Madden. You know Coach, Coach Madden Mutt gives you a chemistry boost. Oh, I, got, I got a life morale boost <laughs> after that one, I'll tell you. And we go to the two-minute warning. Pony with the ball on the 32, second and 10. I keep mentioning this because it's important. Point spread gets the ball to start the second half. So points here would be big for Pony. Yeah, and kudos to Pony to get stopped, give up the touchdown, but then get himself back in control of this game where it's tied up and he can go and take the lead. That's huge. That was even. You can see the play selection. You're yeah, starting to even out. Yeah, he's doing a good job mixing it up. Runs the ball to the 27-yard line, third and six. Saw that. Clock is moving. Did you see that, though? Five carries for only <laughs> one yard? Breda is not getting it you, done. You were singing the praises on, would, on Matt Breda to start this. I, I was singing all kinds of praises, and <laughs> I might go home and take him out of my salary cap lineup because... He's got the speed. It's just, can you get to the edge? I did lose my first game. I put him in my salary cap lineup. Third and six, Cunningham. Oh, oh, good breed. Lines man. Hill. Boy, he had all day, and he finally no came open right there on the drag. And that's going to move the chains, and it's going to move the clock. Way to stay patient. And sometimes you hesitate. You see that user defender out there in the middle of the field. These guys are good at lurking with their user defender. So for Pony to stay calm right there, wait, wait for the route to clear out, away from points user. Good first down, good play by Pony. He's looking, looking good right now. He's got to keep this up. Cunningham, under a minute now. He'll take off again. This time he'll slide at the 14. Pony has all three timeouts. So does point spread. I might call him Pony Boy again. I just, I'm going I'm to put it out there. Stay, <laughs> stay golden, Pony Boy. He's on the golden drive right now. Thirty seconds to go in the half, oh, and there is Brady. He'll pick up the first down. Pony boys, <laughs> say now it's in my head. Pony <laughs> Montana picks up the first down. I have a uh, full disclosure. I have a subscriber in my Twitch channel for over a year and a half. His name is Pony Boy from Wyoming. So there's the shout out, and I'll never say it again. There you go. Twenty-five seconds to go. Ball at the seven-yard line. Yeah, you get used to saying that name over and over and over and over. Talk to me, baby. And there he is. Just when we were Jumping throwing shade, he's in the end zone. Miles on it. Let's go, Breda. man. Corey showing some emotion. The extra point goes up. And he's the leader of the EMP crew. He has all his goons back yeah. there. They're watching. They're cheering him on. And they got to be going nuts. Two of his lab partners have actually already qualified for club series. And 49er, a.k.a. Playbook, who will be at the Niners club series. And Jay Thyself, who will be in the Redskins uh, club series. So shout out to those guys. Uh, the boy Pony putting out some work right now. I'll be oh, one of those in here. It's Jamal Charles. He will go all the well way. <laughs> Touchdown point spread. The chemistry. Wow, RG. You can't even blink. I look down every time I look down at the notes, something crazy happens. 
And Jamal Charles on special teams, one of the biggest playmakers on the team. You put him on kick return to get the ball in the hands of your best players. And he gets the juke. That energizer chemistry kicks in, fills up his stamina bar. And as I like to say, he's on his horse. And he's in for a big touchdown. What a ball game. What a championship. Wow, that was huge. Take a look at it again. Veteran Madden guy move here. Wasting that clock. That was huge. And that's why you do the pooch kick. You know, you're willing to give up good field position for not giving up the points. Yeah, then when you say the pooch kick, that's what it was right there. You kick it to that second, third level, less skillful guy. Yeah, with maybe full a, back, a, a, tight a full end. Full back, tight end. They're not going to give up, you know, maybe an extra five or six yards. But you avoid the risk of a guy like Jamal Charles taking it back to the house right before the end of the half to give you all the momentum. That was huge by point spread. Pony fought so hard to get all that momentum back. And just like that, point spread takes some of it. We got a battle right now. It's 14-14 here at the half. We still got 10 minutes to go here in the finals. This game is 81's game. Stick around, second half is next. I love this. Through my foundation, I've got to meet a lot of these kids and you know they've spent a significant amount of time at the hospital. So anything we can do to bring a smile to their face, give them a little more hope, joy, uh, that's our goal. I haven't seen mine yet. I'm super excited to see what they came up with. We kind of worked up a design together, but then they got to work with an artist to get them professionally done. So hopefully they're just unique and it has the kids touch, you know, because that's what it's all about. This one is a lot of the kids at the children's hospital, uh, all holding hands. And then on the back heel is going to be the actual hospital itself. I think it's a great idea to have this all come about. A lot of guys have different causes and different things across the country, across the world that they want to bring to awareness. It's a great tool to have that in the forefront. Or one of the kids I had was William. He kept saying amazing while he was drawing his shoe. So I know once he sees it on the real shoe, they're all going to be excited. Probably be like a big privilege to them to have cleats that like nobody else in the country will have. Oh, I'm really excited about it. He's gonna wear it on December 3rd. It is cool. It's incredible, in fact. Oh, hey! Oh, you haven't seen him either? How you doing? Yes. This is the one we love. Oh, wow. Whoa. Those are sweet. <laughs> I think this piece of fire. If I would say fire. <laughs> or they ice it. I made this one. Oh, this with the smiley is the one face. I made. Yeah. Oh. And it's a bell colored smile face. Whoa. With glasses. Those look awesome. Grace, look at them. Are those so cool? Hey, what's that? That's Daddy's work. Oh, Daddy's work. <laughs> those look awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Wearing these things in the game. Yeah. These are nice. On December 3rd, dude. So thank you for you guys helping us design them. We're going to invite all you guys to the game. Yay! Go down on the field pregame. Oh, and uh, enjoy the game Yay! with us. Hopefully enjoy Big W. We're going to be great together. And you're checking out one of the, or the original Buffalo wing, excuse me, there at the Anchor Bar here in Buffalo, New York. Welcome to Buffalo. We're at New Era Field in Orchard Park, about 20 minutes away from that location where the chicken wing was originally invented. And I know a couple of our guys got to check it out a different spot last night, Defs. Uh, Anchor Bar is another great spot if you're in the area. We're headed into the second half of this championship right now. Just talked to both players. Point Spread said that that kick return just absolutely saved him in this game. Now he just has to stop the bunch. And we also went over.
over to Pony here, and he said he has a big shout-out to his crew back home, EMP. He said, just say EMP. They'll know what I mean. They're probably watching this stream right now. He needs good energy from those guys. He said he's also probably going to listen to a little bit more Bruno Mars. I know we heard him singing in that first half. All right, thanks, Lauren. She said 20 minutes away. Wings, 20 minutes away. The original Wings? We might, we might have to do that for sure. One thing that I've known, noticed about the Wings here in Buffalo is they're automatically crispy. Yeah. You go other places, you need to say extra crispy. You don't got to do that here in Buffalo. They know what they're doing with their Wings everywhere you go. And well, we had a pretty good, I and mean, we could talk about food all day long. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. especially Buffalo Wings. Let's talk about this first half. We had some good highlights there, some back and forth. Looked like maybe Pony was going to take this game over, and a, then comes back point spread with a big return. Yeah, he saw point spread, and it looked like his last game, a nice hesitation move right there by Vic, picks up the first down, and he was getting it going. And uh, that, the whole EMP crew watching at home, it wasn't looking good for their boy Pony Montana because – Point spread just after getting a stop, walked down the field, made it look easy with Vic. Gets an interception right there. Use alert. That means he controlled Chazier from the start of the snap, told the interception. Those are always the most Im impressive interceptions you could make. And then Pony started getting stingy on defense. Finally said, I've had enough of this Mike Vic stuff. I'm going to play a little bit of defense. And then was able to get a little bit of offense going too. You see Ryan Chazier. Enjoy it while you can. Makes a big play first down. <laughs> Point spread filling the pressure a little bit. Cooks with a big catch in for a touchdown. And this is when you felt, okay, Pony's really making a run on this. And right when we're giving EMP all the credit, tell him to stand up. There's the Energizer. Recharges the stamina bar for Jamal Charles. And like you said, Scott, he could go all the way. <laughs> Way. Oh, what a half. What a game. That was an opportunity for you to get on your horse there. I, it, you had it. You were all, you were all over it. He, the horse was I appreciate all, it. He was already on his horse. At that point, he's just, they're kind of just, you know, hanging around. He's getting off the horse at that point, and then he just kind of walked him into the end zone. You know, Madden, Madden sort of becoming the, the meta not only here in video game world, but the other night on Thursday night, we saw the Sky Cam. The, the young folks, the, the ones that say lit, they like this. Oh, this was fantastic. And the thing that's cool about this is they're, they're taking a concept out of Madden, putting it into real life, and it can only get better. There's aspects of Madden that they haven't even implemented into the Skycam yet, and we got to talk to Coach Madden about that stuff, about, you know, turning the camera around after an interception, uh, showing some Coach Cam at the at pre-play at the line of scrimmage where you spread it out and you see the alignment of the receivers on the outside. I love the Skycam, and I think it's only going to get better and better the more they enhance enhance that te technology and use it. So huge shout out to the NFL for implementing that. I thought it was a fantastic way to watch football and it gave you a lot of insight on the matchups that go down at the line of scrimmage and the different battles that happen. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, and people will say, well, I don't like it. Well, you didn't like the yellow first down line either <laughs> for the first year. And now if, if it's not in the game, you can't live without it. Yeah. It, it, like I said, it's the first time they're trying it yeah give them a few days to get in the lab <laughs> give them some time to get in the lab get tough find a couple glitches they're gonna have it looking crispy huge shout out to the nfl I, I, i'm a fan of the sky cam i hope they continue to implement it yeah i like it you see a lot more well it's time for the second half we got a 14 14 game here in the finals and we're gonna see who is gonna represent buffalo in orlando at the pro bowl be 32 teams there, and one of these guys is trying to make their way. Big to have the first possession of the second half for point spread, but now he's got to take advantage of it. Yeah, absolutely. And he was going to go. I mean, right now he's got to be feeling good. He was. It looked like he was going to be coming into the second half after pretty much controlling the beginning of the first half. But then it looked like he was going to come down down points. That big kick return gave him all types of momentum. He could keep that momentum rolling here, but he's going to have to go and get points. Well, Jamal Charles had a big return that tied the game up just right before the half. Hey, man, special teams can make the difference. We saw a missed field goal earlier by Grizzly Adams. You see the long return. Yeah, we, the, the, the scum kick. I mean, it, it's spe special teams is in full effect out here. Let's see how Pony does with this Vic draw. Uh, 
play that better, baby. Vic, play good that hit. Oh, Work his way to the 46. At some point, you just you, you got to keep persevering. You got to keep laying those hit sticks. You never know when Vic's going to cough it up, and that could be the, the play of the game. Uh, yeah, you just, if you can get a hit on him, you get a hit on him for sure. And Pony, I, I hear him. He's right next to us. He's talking to himself. we got to play that better. He knows that's the Achilles heels of point spreads offense, and that's something he's going to have to stop. Jamal Charles gets to the edge. The former Longhorn will make it to the 34-yard line. What about the guys that played for Texas back in the day? Ricky Williams? Oh, he was a beast, huh? Well, Jamal Charles. You know, you know who was my guy at Texas was Roy Williams. He used to make those one-handed ca uh, catches all the time. He was nasty. I, just might make I thought he was going to be the... Uh, Precursor to Megatron. Me, I, I think they played both. Of, I think they both played with the Lions. They played at the Lions yeah. at the same time, and then the year that uh, he got traded, the year they unfortunately didn't win a game. Oh, the, the run so far doing phenomenal for point spread. The thing I worry oh, about for him is this right here. Is he's been looking great on offense when he can run the ball, but we saw there was some sequences in that first half where Pony's run defense really showed up and a point, point spread in some awkward situations. So I want to see point spread be able to air it out a little bit because if that run D decides to show up all of a sudden, you can't just let your offense crumble. And Pony has the personnel in that 3-4 defense to stop the run. All tied up at 14, but point spread on a nice opening drive to start the half, and there is the draw once again. This time just gets a yard. Got to be careful. You know, I mean, he's... Feeling the confidence, hasn't coughed it up yet, but you never know. It could happen. Like I said, it takes what, those normal wrap tackles usually won't cause a fumble in those situations, but if you get a strip or a hit stick on that quarterback during a, you know, in bounce. Ah, I got second line. And he oh! to it again. This time gets a block and point oh, spread short. to the house. 14 unanswered points pending the him. extra point. Talk about sticking to your game plan. He likes to run the ball. He said he only threw it four times. I'm, I'm giving him a hard time for constantly running the ball, but he gets himself in a third and eight, third and nine, and you're not expecting run in that situation if you're Pony. Point spread catches him off guard, gets Vic some space, and, man, if you're Pony, you're going to have to lock up that Michael Vick. He is just running rampant out here. Big hit! Which point spread, his family, we mentioned it, just five miles down the road. Season ticket holder. Yes, sir, to nine. Might be living out his dream here, RG. And then you love to see it, huh? It's his thing. You know, it's your parents telling you growing up, put the video games <laughs> away. They're not going to, you know, he's already banked $1,000. He has a chance to uh, represent the Buffalo Bills organization, like, go down to the uh, like club face championship, $150,000. After that, the parents are going to be like, why aren't you playing your video game? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You should be practicing. Where's your commitment? Second and nine. And you see that so much from the parents and the families you meet at these events. Once they see how real this is and how big it is, then they get it. it, it takes them a while. As time, Cunningham. Oh, hit it. <gasps> hit stick, please. That's like going to be a first down as Tyreek Hill is able to get the yard to gain. The pony he knows this is a big drive. Ball to 44. Hands it off up the gut. Nope. Nothing there. It's a big drive for Pony Montana. And, and here's the thing. He is on his own 45-yard line right here. At the very least, you, you need to get it up into his territory because if you went for it on fourth down in this situation and didn't get it, Point spread's in great position to get in field goal range and make it two possessions. So if you're a pony, you need to get out of your own territory right here. You need to keep the chains moving. Rolls out right. Looking for a playmaker. Nothing's there. And we have four players that have already punched their ticket. That's I'm going to put her in a Skimbo like with the eight. Patriots. Yeah. Killer Mike with the Seahawks. Volterax. Then don't care about ice. Don't care about ice. Down in... The, in the, New York, you were down there watching him play, and the youngster. The youngster, 18 years old, 
His first live event. He wanted to play in the MCS last year. He was too young. He showed up to the event. He pointed at me when he saw me. He said, Archie, you're going to be calling my game in Orlando. You can <laughs> put it, take it to the bank. Cunningham yeah. on third and ten. <gasps> what? Oh! Threw oh. it right to Krause. Oh. Krause couldn't get turned around. That was, ah. Uh, you can see it there. Volterax, Skimbo, Killer That's Mike. That's turn. Killer Mike. Don't care oh. about ice. <laughs> Killer Mike, the defending oh, champion. Yeah, back-to-back -to -back Seahawks. But we only had eight, eight people in the... Ooh. Club championship last year. There oh, was only shit. eight teams. This year we transitioned ah, to 32. On, That's how man. fast the sport's growing. But yeah, that was a I'll huge play before we went to that ground. Damn. Come on, bro. You should have seen Pony's face after that catch. He was just <laughs> <laughs> thanking the old gods and the new. They look at me now. We'll be down in Miami. You and I won't be down there, but we'll have Miami next, and then you and I will rejoin each other in Jacksonville. They're going to do that one before the Seahawks. Jaguars game. We get to go to that game. Absolutely. Oh, the where's my spy? Thank Russia. you. So much. Do I control my spy? Third and 16, oh, money, trailing by a touchdown. Wow, what a game so far. This is anybody's ball game. This is intense. Time running down here in the third quarter. Needs to get down, all the way down to the, whew, right down to the 24-yard line. Bro, you got to play Swings that Swings it me. outside. Talvin Smith? It's going to be fourth and five, 27-yard line, excuse me, and that might be the final play of the quarter. See, if you're Pony right now, I'm at least coming good. out in the field goal so I could see the kick arc yep. and make sure I can hit it because what that kick arc does is it, it it gives you a visual representation of how far the ball's going to go. And the wind and all that. Yeah, so you get, factors a, in. You get a free, if you get a free the chance Madden to guy move. Yeah, if you get a free chance to see that, you want to check it out. Well, I guess he was going to go He's for it the whole time. It. Okay, I stand corrected. There it is. You still, you know, you want to put those rocking. thoughts yeah. in your opponent's head. Fourth and five. Only four passes. Play of the game thus far. Only four passes for point spread. Same amount of passes he had in online elimination. There's that big kickoff return that tied it up at the half. At 14 unanswered, looking down the field. Oh, good read, man. Huge. Good read. What a read. With Pushing ice in his down. veins, Pony Montana goes for it on fourth down, steps up in the pocket with Cunningham, waits for the post to develop with J.J. Nelson on that famous P.A. post out the bunch. It's a big first down. And that's the thing. It's fourth and five. And so you're trying to guard the sticks. You know, you're trying not to give up, you know, five yards, trying to get the first down. Next thing you know, he it's a strike down the field. Trying to get to the edge. Uh-oh. He's going to lose two yards. It's getting stingy here. You do not have much room to work. Inside the 20 is the red zone. Inside the 10 is the dead zone. Toughest 10 yards in Madden. Oh, it's tough right here. Here he goes to a single back doubles north. Uh, he hasn't shown us many good passing plays out of this formation. He, we know he likes to run the pitch. Bro, what a Let's watch out for Cunningham to scramble. It's pass. Randall ah. throws a low Stop, one. Baby, let's go. Oh, he's the feet and bounds, Great and it's throw. a touchdown. Great throw. And pinning the extra point. We're going to be tied once again oh, here in Buffalo. Wow, game, what man. a battle. Back and forth. Nobody Ooh. wants to budge. Oh, too much Both of these guys want the thing. glory. Yeah, they yeah, want the championship, and they are in a slugfest right now. Four-minute drive by Pony Montana. Oh, my gosh. They're going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Nobody wants to budge. It's like Ward Gotti. They come down to who has the final possession. Look at it again. This was that fourth and five. No one was open, so he had to go to A. I mean, A was the only read. That was a good read. And you saw all that green in the middle of the field. It's a good place to attack. And remember... Point spread. He ran the ball in his online elimination 25 times, only threw it four. So we Come know on, he is committed on, to the run right now. If you're a pony, you need Come to on, stop man. I'm this not letting run. That draw beat me. 
And remember, Pony took him out in the group stage of online elimination. Was feeling confident coming into this yeah. matchup. What was it? You could dot 54 me up and I'll to 14. 52 to 10. Yeah. I'm not 52 them, 14. I'm not but this is a whole new point spread he's dealing with right now. I'm not letting. Oh, he's going to pass it. I think he's going to pass out of this formation. Is that an inaudible? Got that post route. I'm not letting that draw beat me. I like how he does this drag with the hitch combo RB. And he'll let it fly. Oh, not bad. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, Hold on come on, the man. 40. What the is that sound? I love that route combo that point that does. Though? He does the drag and then a the hitch right out, behind it. So as a user down, defender, down, you have to commit down, to one of them. You can, you can either go with the drag and then he's going to throw the hitch, or you can throw the, or you can guard the hitch and he'll either throw the drag or the post on the second level. That's a very good passing play by point spread, and he doesn't overuse it. That's another thing I like about it. He's running that to the left side, which is Vix. Strong side as he's the lefty. He'll pick up a yard and a half, maybe two. They're going to give him three yards on that. Wow. Second and seven. That's got to be two and a half. And we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, Coltrane. Oh, 242 left. Well, they both have the running game where he could, he could work this all the way down and kick the... He's going to take Vic, Washington. and you got to watch. He's going to draw it, and he's going to look to go right to that right side. Oh, no, he goes to the left. Trying to catch yeah, him by surprise. Shot, Picks up a yard, third and six. Man, that draw looks tough. It's like an old-school Vic feeling where he's either getting two, three, or four yards, um, but it also has potential to break for a big one. I got it like an out-of-position Walter Payton kind of feel right now with this Vic. And you see, he's doing exactly what we talked about. Coming out, checking the win. He's got six miles an hour in his favor. You guys can't see that. It's going from left to right. And so he has the distance from there. It's going to take the best effort. It, it looked a little bit short when you, so that kick arc disappears. You only get a split yep. second where you get to see exactly where it's going to land. It looked a little bit short when he first came out. He does have good no. So good I'm knows. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yield to, I'm going to bend the knee. He's not that great. <laughs> Don't, to, to, to your expertise. Yeah, Gano's only an 80 overall. That costs 14 cap. He needs some more yards here to get in the field goal range. This is a big play. This is huge right now. Fourth quarter, two minutes left. Tie ball game. Who wants it? Third and six. Vic rolling to his right. Turns back, throws it to the end zone. Oh, and oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh come on, man. Drag the toes. Oh, my God. The, it's a late oh. read. And oh the biggest God, thing about that, this. Scott, oh, is he's not oh in field goal range, so he has to go for this. Oh he needed to pick God. up at least oh a yard or two God. on there to oh guarantee God. himself field goal range. Didn't get it. Gets himself in a fourth and six, do or die situation. We're in a situation here, Coltrane. Fourth and six. This is huge. Take a look at that replay in a minute. You, you know it's going to be the drag with the hitch behind it in a post route. No. Throws it Let's up in the cover. No! And Pony Montana oh, man. has some Damn, life. Man. The tie game under two minutes to go. Uh, okay, no waste no time. That's look how quick it can happen, RG. And yards. look at their body language right now, Coltrane. Point spread is down on himself, and Pony looks completely locked in. There you go, point spread. You need to get back into locked in mode. This game's not over. But how about Pony continuing to fight? There's no quit in that, man. Gave up 14 unanswered, and he's battled back here. And, and Pony says it. He says, hey, I'm a, I'm a full-time streamer. I stream every day in front of a camera. So he's able to deal with these nerves a little bit better than the rest of the field. That type of thing plays to his advantage. And I, feel, I believe that's contributed, contributed to him keeping his poise so well throughout this game. Yeah, I've seen him win some oh, close man. ones on stream in tournament play. Look at this, this whole area of the field. If he was on his stream, they'd be playing ACDC Thunderstruck right now. Big. Oh, oh, Boy, man. that was almost a fumble, a fumble by Cunningham. That could have been a fumble. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, it gets it gets it gets wild in this stream. They they, they do song requests. They'll pump on some ACDC. Next thing you know, Pony's coming out with the dub. Let's see if Pony can get it done in his West Coast offensive playbook. Third and eight, huge play. Has time. Cunningham Whoa! throws it in the coverage. And it's no, picked no, no, no. off. Oh! He's not going to. What are you doing? I was about to say he's not going to take it to the house. I can't waste no time. I'm really timeless. I think that was, was that Weatherspoon? 
Well, I look like well, Sean Weatherspoon, a core bronze, just 59 overall. You get bronze players out there making plays. Well, you, Weatherspoon. Well, he used alerts with him. Well, sometimes good. it doesn't matter the rating when you we talked about got a user like that. Yep, we talked about stick, stick skill, and that's what oh. good stick skill will do for oh. you. It can make a bad player or a decent player great because your user controlling them. You're, you're his awareness rating. You're making those decisions. And point spread with a huge interception. The hometown hero. Let me set the scene for you. 61 seconds left in the Buffalo Club Championship. This is the finals. The winner goes to Orlando at the Pro Bowl to represent the Buffalo Bills. Second and three. Both these guys, New York natives. Point spread just lives five miles away. Pony about three hours away in Rome, New York. Point spread. Grew up coming to these games. He's a season ticket holder. His family is. It's third and seven. This is insane. This is, the, this is it, Coltrane. This is the game. If he can get this first down, unless he misses the field goal or a kick block. They go back to Jamal oh, Charles, and there's block, man. once again. Call the timeout, Pony. He's letting time tick. There you go. Shazier coming in. His third tackle, fourth and nine. And an incoming field goal to take the lead. 21 all with 50 seconds to go. And point spread has a 41 yarder incoming. If you're Pony, you still have 50 seconds left, but right now you got to try to block this kick. It's not perfect. It looks like it's right outside the accuracy bar. There's a chance this could get blocked. Pony's just moving that player. He's looking to time the snap, come around there, put his life on the line. And the kick is up, and it is good. And point spread will take the lead. But here it is, Coltrane. This is manageable. He has no timeouts, but it's 47 seconds. He just needs to get into field goal range. It's going to be interesting to see how point spread kicks this ball off right here. Is it the pooch kick? Kicks it to the 20. Oh. And he'll run out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Three-point game so has zero timeouts. Yeah, I'm looking at these players, Coltrane. You can cut this tension with a knife. It's dead serious right now for both of these guys. Both have their locked-in faces on right now. Matt Prater is his kicker. This is what it's all about. But he's working against the clock in a three-point deficit. Motion. Prater can hit from 50 plus. Cunningham will take off. Come on. And he'll be close to the first down. Should have it. He does at the 45 yard line. As point spread drops everyone in a coverage. Oh my God. Could you imagine playing in this hot seat right now, Coltrane? I'm nervous. I'm not even playing the game. This is intense. Look at Pony. He looks cool as a cucumber, though, right now. Point spread's going to use one of his three timeouts. He has two remaining. Can point spread get one of those A-gap blitzes that has been so devastating? Yeah, you got to watch out for one of these linebackers coming through. Able to pick up the blitz, yes. but can't get it from the backside. That is Dewey McDonald. He's got bronze players making plays. He's got silver players making plays. And second and 20. It's ticking. It's ticking. 20 seconds to go in the game. Cunningham. Randall looking deep. Yeah. And Cross picks it off. Let's go. Yay. And point spread is Yay. yelling to his friends that are in the crowd. His roommate shorts. Robbie Baum, his good friend that's also with him here. Cheech, the I Buffalo like native, has defended his home really turf and really become good, the yeah. Buffalo Bills champion, going up against Pony Montana with the upset. Need, yeah. This is amazing, Coltrane. He is your Madden 18 Bills Club champion. Let's take a look at the highlights, RG, on how point spread got it done. Oh my goodness, 
Mike Vick getting it done in this Bills offensive playbook. The Buffalo native going up against Pony, and you got to think Pony has not practiced much against this Mike Vick draw type offense. You see it highlight after highlight. It's Vick stick getting it done. And point spread knows. That was huge right there. Witherspoon and Telvin Smith with two interceptions in this one. Yeah, a bunch of user lurks right there by point spread. But Pony would not just go within the night. He would not go without a fight. He kept it a ball game. And boy, was it a ball game until the very end. Big catch right here by Shazir. Again, enjoy it while you can. Cut. This was huge for Pony Boy. He really wasn't getting anything going, but he was able to tie it up here in the second quarter. Yeah, that was a laser to Cooks. But once you thought Pony had all the momentum, Energizer Jamal Charles gets on his horse. Use the horse, Luke on his horse and he could go all the way <laughs> way and that was the difference in my opinion he got the ball to start the third quarter came out and michael vick gets a block and gets six yeah vick on that draw if you are in that club championship you better go and practice your draw defense because point spread's going to be out there and that's tough to stop well, Pony what came back on a big oh, third was... down, threw a low pass there, and we were tied up at 21. Yeah. That was Witherspoon with the interception. And that's a user lurk again. Point spread controls Witherspoon from the start of the play until the very end, takes away multiple routes, gets the huge play. Fourth to nine, ice in his veins, kicks the field goal, and Pony still had 47 seconds left to make something happen. Yeah, the game winning field goal, and Lauren is standing by with the Bills club champ. The Bills club champ himself, point spread. He came right over to me, and you gave me a hug and said, I can't believe it. So congratulations. It's real. There's your jersey. Here's the guy that lives four miles away from the stadium, former Bills season ticket holder yourself. How do you feel to be representing the Bills in this Madden championship? It feels like a dream. Uh, coming in, I really thought I wasn't going to win this. I didn't want to get blown out. But um, the lights came on and I showed up. But I want to give a shout out to them two guys sitting right there. Uh, without them, I wouldn't have been here. So this is uh, big for me, for Madden, and for my boys. Yeah, your boys' shorts, your roommate at SUNY yeah. Brockport, right? And, and your other buddy, I was That's watching next to them. They were completely enthralled with the game. Yeah. So many ups and downs. What do you think the biggest success was today for your team? Uh, me and Short Lab Bunchy probably Thursday for the first time all year. And um, that really won it for me. I made a couple adjustments. I hope didn't show on stream because I'm sure I'll see Bunch in Orlando. But uh, yeah, without that, I wouldn't have won today. Have you been to Orlando before? Yeah, I have, but never for a Madden event. So all right. excited. Well, that's going to change again. Congratulations. Represent us well at the Pro Bowl. Hopefully this gives us a little luck headed into that Patriots game tomorrow. Congratulations again, point spread. Back to you guys. Thanks, Lauren. Of course.